Hey, what's up, you guys? Craft Farms here. Welcome back to Edgewater, Saskatchewan. Now, I know today would normally be uh, Ashton Corners, but unfortunately, I had some problems with my game. Not exactly sure what happened, how it happened, why it happened, anything like that. But uh, I lost half of my save games. Uh, thankfully, this was not one of them, but unfortunately, Ashton Corners happened to be one of them, and so I lost everything on that save game. Uh, I may try and reassemble that save game, but it is going to take quite some time to try and get everything sorted out on it, and uh, it's just going to be... Too much to try and get done right now. And uh, I need to get some videos up so that way you guys have something. So I will be attempting to get that fixed. Um, but it's just going to kind of be a waiting game and we'll just kind of have to see. Uh, so for right now we're just going to run Edgewater here. And keep working on this. Uh, we've kind of got a good setup going here. So we're going to just kind of keep on rolling with it. So the goal today is to have this uh, field of corn finished. Uh, I would like to get our corn done for the year. But we'll just kind of have to see here. Uh, we also got to get some other machines rolling here soon as well uh, we need to get rolling on our fall tillage so we've got some lime that needs to get spread uh, I'm undecided if I want to do it now or next spring I think I'm probably going to spread the lime and then run the cultivator over uh, I think that's kind of how we're going to go about this. <clears throat> so we'll need to get our 4755 rolling. So as soon as we get this combine unloaded, we're going to move our grain cart out of the way and get that uh, going. And then... Uh, We'll get the 4755 rolling first. We'll get him spreading some uh, lime. Let's find where this guy is. Uh, the Soaring Eagle jump auger did come out just today. Uh, today being Thursday the 6th. Uh, so I did download that and I replaced our Batco jump auger with this guy here um let's see let's get over here and grab the 47 we can unhook this guy and uh we're gonna run over and grab that spreader and then we also actually on our way there we're going to grab the auger from back here because we're going to need this to unload uh, the bin so we can fill our spreader up. So we'll drag this over to our bin. I got to remember which bin it is. I believe it's this end one right here. Let's take a peek. Yep, it is our end one here. So we will drop this right here. And pull over here because our fertilizer spreader is going to be in here in the back. So we've got to try and get some stuff drug out. And 
And I see both of our combines are full again, but we need to get this rolling too, so let's go ahead and get this stuff moved first. Uh, probably shouldn't put that over there, so let's put this... We'll just throw it right here beside the bin. And then we need to pull our corn planter out as well. Which is sitting in here all kinds of cockeyed for some unknown reason. Definitely was not how we had it parked. We'll drop this guy right here for now. And then grab our spreader. I think is going to be quite fun to get out from behind everything else, but I think we'll be able to manage. There we go. Now let's see if we can wiggle this thing out of here. And it is still full, actually. Well, that's good to know. So let's get this thing rolling then, right away on this cornfield. Um, let's start him right about here. And let's see here what. 24 meters is what we're doing with it. See if we can get two headlands out of it. And we'll go longest edge. And hopefully this will load quick. Could not generate. Okay, let's go automatic then. Hopefully this will be quick. Perfect. And we will save this as... Oh, wait a minute. I had, of course, saved. Okay, let's see what that one is like here. One underscore fifty one. Do do do. Okay, perfect. Well, in that case, we'll just run this over here and get it going then. And we better make sure that he isn't set to be buying fertilizer or anything. Okay. We definitely don't want that. We have plenty of it in storage. All right, and off he goes. Perfect. So we'll let him get rolling. Uh, let's run over here and put the uh, auger up on the bin quick, so that way we have that done, and then we'll be good to go. We're going to just put this out this side here, so that way we're out of the way of our trucks, 
which we shouldn't have too much more that has to come in here off the trucks. Should only have maybe two more trips with each truck. Perfect. Now let's jump back up here to the grain cart. And we got two full combines. So let's get these guys unloaded. And then we should have a full grain cart. We may end up having to take out a little bit more of a loan to make it through the rest of uh, the year until we sell. So that way we can uh, pay our employees. Because we definitely cannot uh, get all this done without the assistance of some employees. All right, he's good to go. So let's run down here and pick up this other combine. And uh, keep on rolling through this corn. We got about five minutes left on the uh, course itself, so hopefully they shouldn't take too much longer. And it'll be time to wash things up and we'll uh, park our equipment and the dealership can come grab our uh, demo machinery. And then... Uh, after harvest, we'll be able to figure out what uh, crops we're going to be running for the next year. And then we'll just go dump this uh, cart right away and then be able to uh, send a truck on its way, at least one of them. We're only going to have one full truck. We're going to be about a little over 200 bushels shy of filling this other one. But we might just uh, go unload it right away anyways. So that way our combines can just keep on rolling. First thing that we are going to the first thing that we are going to be replacing is definitely going to be our Freightliner. This truck has got to go. That or I need to go in and edit it so that uh, this light is not around it anymore. It is very annoying. Then if we take a look here, so far we are at 13,883.8 bushels of corn. And uh, we've got a $673,000 value at the moment in January. 
if we uh, sell everything. Oh, and uh, we've actually got quite a bit of room left in that trailer. So we're going to go unload each of these combines once again. And then we should be good to top it off. When we're done, we'll pick up these bigger sections that the combines missed. Because we definitely don't want to leave that big. Little pieces right there like that. Those ones I'm okay with, but these large chunks behind us here I definitely want to pick up. And while he's unloading, let's take a look over here and see how our spreader is managing. Seems to be going pretty well. Let's uh, take a look here and see if we can up his speed. Oh, maybe not. I guess that's as fast as it wants to run this spreader. Alright, that combine is on his way. Um, let's actually go, now that we're off the headlands, we can change these guys so that way they keep on moving. when we're unloading. So this one is getting pretty close to full as well. So we're gonna run up there and unload him right away. And then uh, we should have enough to fill that other trailer finally. And then we can get everything unloaded. If uh, need be, we might actually end up just waiting because we are almost done with this field. So we'll probably just take everything back in one shot. Oh, we just missed him. There we go. And we are getting way too close. And our other combine is on his final pass. But we are probably going to have to unload him a little bit. Let this combine finish unloading. Perfect. Let's uh, get out of his way here. And our other combine is full. So we'll unload him quick one last time. And then he should uh, run all the way to the end and finish off his uh, course. And then our other combine will be following behind very shortly. We shouldn't need to unload that guy. We'll see. We may end up having to. All right. Oh, come on now. And we're actually... 
actually going to oh, course play's got everything all sorts of screwed up let's pick up these little bits here first and then we'll uh, finish unloading this guy Since we gotta go this way anyhow, we're just going to pick up this little section here. And then we can fold up the header. And we'll get the combine folded up as well. And we'll just move them off to the side of the field here for now. I'll get the combines brought home uh, later on. And that other combine is going to fill up up there. So we'll uh, unload him on his way down. Then we'll have uh, corn harvest fully wrapped up. Actually, harvest in general for this year will be fully finished, which will be a very nice. Then we can get our uh, fertilizing and tillage done for the year. And then we'll be done until January when we go and we sell off the uh, oats and corn make some money and we're gonna end up probably filling this grain cart I think before the uh, combine goes empty There we go. So we can go ahead and fold up our header. And we'll see if we can empty the combine fully into the cart. Otherwise, we'll have to go dump whatever's left into our truck. Yep. We're two bushels short on space. So close. So let's pull up in here. And we'll see. We're going to have to adjust here. There we go. And then we'll move this guy out of the way. And we will leave him there for now. This guy we will go and... Uh, unload into the truck whatever we can and then we'll get both of our trucks taken back and apparently this thing wants to sit and slide I'm not sure why I'm not too sure of why this thing is wanting to move. That is very interesting. But we're going to go ahead, get this tarped, and we're going to take the trucks first. We'll take our truck and run this to the yard first.
and we'll get the uh, two trucks unloaded. And the cart, get everything put in the bin, and we'll be done for the day. Looks like our spreader is still rolling. He is half full. So he should be good to roll for a little bit longer there yet. It would definitely would be nicer if uh, it would run straight up and down passes rather than it's angled like it is, but... As long as we've got it set up to roll, that's all that matters, I guess. Alright, so let's get this unloaded. Let's see here how full we are in this bin yet. Okay, we're only 33%, so we got plenty of room for all of uh, what we've got left. Here's our first hopper. Okay, and we'll let that guy sit and unload while we bring this truck back. Uh-oh. Looks like we have buried the truck. Very badly. Well. Let's see if we can use this tractor and give it a little nudge to get it out of here. And we can't even budget with the tractor. I think we're going to have to uh, do it the unrealistic way. And uh, use the super strength. Get us out here onto the road. Ooh. Okay, whoa. And then we got to go like this and hit reload vehicle. And there we go. Well, let's get out of here. I did find a mod that would help in those situations. Uh, there is a tow rope mod, but I have not used it yet, so I'm not exactly sure quite fully of how it works. Uh, otherwise, I would have just used that, but um, I did not want to drag things out longer. And... Uh, so we're just going to roll with it this way for now.
Looks like our spreader's making decent headway. All right, so let's get our freight liner moved out of the way here. We're just gonna take them and spin them around back into the yard, and then we'll dump our cart into it. And right there should work. Let's grab our grain cart now and uh, get back to the yard with it. already down to seven grand so we are definitely gonna probably need some uh, more money later on we may have to add to our loan a little bit but we'll see that or we'll uh, start running some things on our own We'll probably let uh, course play run that spreader while we run the uh, Great Plains cultivator behind it. Or we may do both, we'll see. But for now we'll let course play get that field done. This big beast definitely needs a bit of a bath before uh, it goes back. But I'll do that uh, off camera. Alright, let's get our auger out and uh, get this thing unloaded so we can get wrapped up for today. Gonna bring that up some. There we go. Alright, let's get unloaded. And we will hop over to this truck here and get this thing unloading. Try and get everything knocked out so we can get done. And that's going to take a moment. Perfect. We'll get that going. Get our back hopper unloaded. Perfect. 
and we'll just pull this guy right up here so that way we can get our other truck up here and unloaded and then we will figure out our final amount of corn Alright, we'll get the rest of this trailer empty. And then we'll let the uh, auger and jump auger, everything run out. Perfect, jump auger is empty. Auger should be in just a moment. Perfect, uh, let's take a look and see. 18,162 bushels is what we ended up with. And it should give us a whopping $881,000. So between our corn and our oats, we should make about a million dollars come spring. Uh, but that is... That is going to be at the train which we are unable to use at the moment so let's okay it's not gonna let me change it so it's gonna be at two hundred and twenty two thousand five hundred and seventeen dollars for our oats and highest here is going to be Four hundred and thirteen thousand five hundred and eighty five. So not quite as much as it should be, but uh but who knows, maybe the update will be out soon and we can use the train again. So alrighty folks, that's gonna do it for today. I'm gonna get everything cleaned up, put away, get the uh loaned vehicles returned. And we'll come back and we'll work on some fall field work. Hope everybody enjoyed the video. And as always, folks, we'll catch you all tomorrow.